Hello and welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we are going to look at water relations in animal cells with regards to osmosis. Animal cells have only a cell membrane and closing the cell. This cell membrane is semi-permeable. Now, you'll also recall that uh, animal cells lack subvacuoles and that it is the cytoplasm that contains dissolved salts and sugars. And therefore, the cytoplasm plays a very important role in osmosis as it determines the osmotic pressure within the cell. When an animal cell is placed in a solution, it will either gain water by osmosis or lose water by osmosis. It all depends on the osmotic pressure gradient. So if it is placed in a hypertonic solution, it will lose water by osmosis. And when placed in hypotonic solution, it will gain water by osmosis. Now, red blood cells are commonly used to demonstrate osmosis in animal cells. So we're going to look at how what uh, red blood cells behave when placed in solutions of different concentrations. We're going to start by looking at the behavior of the red blood cells when placed in hypotonic solution or distilled water. Now, hypotonic solution means that uh, the solution has a higher water concentration compared to the cytoplasm within the red blood cells. Now, when a red blood cell is placed in such a hypotonic solution, the red blood cell will be hypertonic. So the red blood cell is said to be hyper tonic to the surrounding solution. This results in a net gain of water. So water moves into the cell by osmosis. As more and more water enters the cell, the cell tends to swell. And if this continues, get more and more water entering the cell, it will swell further and eventually burst. This is because the cell membrane is not strong enough to resist the outward pressure that is caused by the inflow of water. Because remember, as the water flows in, because water being matter, it occupies space. So it will create an outward pressure which the cell membrane cannot withstand. And so eventually this leads to the bursting of the red blood cells, thereby releasing its contents to the surroundings. That is how the red blood cell behaves when placed in hypotonic or distilled water environment. Now on the other hand, when the red blood cell is placed in uh, hypertonic solution, meaning a solution that has a lower water concentration relative to that within the red blood cell. Now, consequently, the red blood cell will be hypotonic to the surrounding hypertonic solution. This would therefore lead to a net loss of water from the cell by osmosis. Because remember, in osmosis, water moves from a region of its higher concentration, that is the hypotonic solution, to a region of its lower concentration, and that will be the hypertonic solution, across the semi-permeable membrane that is uh, created by the cell membrane. So in the hypertonic solution, 
red blood cell will lose water and as it loses water it tends to shrink it's going to become smaller because there's a decrease in volume there's a decrease in volume due to the loss of water from the cell to the surrounding now as the loss continues the cell would shrink further and would appear wrinkled now the shrinking of a red blood cell after losing water by osmosis is known as crenation the process is known as crenation and a red blood cell in the state of being wrinkled is said to be crenated the red blood cell is said to be crenated as a result of the loss of water by osmosis what actually happens is that the cell membrane collapses because remember the cell membrane is not strong enough to maintain the shape of the cell so the loss of water leads to the crenation of the red blood cell now remember in the body of animal cells that is within the body of animals cells rarely become hemolyzed or crenated why because the concentration of the body fluids and the blood is kept isotonic that is the body fluids and that of the blood concentration is kept isotonic to the cytoplasm of the cells by a process that is known as osmoregulation so through osmoregulation the bodies of animals cells are prevented from crenating and from becoming hemolyzed osmoregulation is a very important process in living organisms because it ensures that the cells have the optimum environment in as far as osmotic pressure is concerned so that they can function at their best